Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to episode number three of the Student Speaks Physical Therapy series. For those of you who do not know what Student Speaks is all about, basically it's a series where different physical therapists and DPT students talk about their own program that they either graduated from or are currently attending right now. And they just talk about the pros, the cons, the perks, the specialties of that specific program so that you, who's a pre-physical therapy student or someone who's interested in DPT school or a specific one can just listen to some insights or some advice that some of these people who are volunteering and talking about their program will talk about and it will give you a better understanding of, oh, hey, I want to go to that school or hey, maybe that's not the school that I actually thought it was. Yikes. Awkward. Awkward. So for all of you who participate in this series or who are interested in participating, I just want to say thank you and I appreciate you. And I know that all those pre-physical therapy students who are watching this video and who are interested in those specific schools in which this episode is going to talk about is super appreciative of your advice as well. So if any of these Student Speaks videos speaks to you, <laughs> then feel free to give this a thumbs up. And if this inspires you to actually check out that school that wasn't on your radar, another thumbs up or a share would be very appreciative. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Justin Lee, doctor of physical therapy student and fitness coach. This channel, you'll find videos on fitness, physical therapy, and lifestyle that helps inspire self-change. This channel is all about lifting others and lifting weights. So let's lift for change, people. Okay, so in this episode, we have three phenomenal, three phenomenal people who are going to be talking about their specific program. So our three people are gonna be Jill Thacker from Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We have Christine Sweezy from the University of New England located in Portland, Maine. And lastly, we have Casey Coleman from Andrews University from Berrien Springs, Michigan. So before we get into it, I just need to introduce these three candidates just really quick. Jill Thacker is currently pursuing two degrees, one of them being a DPT and a master's program right now as we speak. Her master's is in neuromotor science and she's also pursuing a doctor of physical therapy right now. She's a first year student and she's working really, really hard. So next we have Christine Sweezy. She just graduated with her DPT program and she has her CSCS. Her goal is to bridge the gap between rehab and strength conditioning for frustrated athletes who confidently want to return to sport. She's doing so great for herself right now. She just graduated from the DPT program. She just accepted a job and she is just really, really pounding down on, on uh, investing in her future to make sure that she is successful, not only financially, but also professionally. And lastly, Casey Coleman. And for those of you who don't know, he's the co-founder, the co-founder, the co-founder of Pre-PT Grind. And those of you who are watching this video most likely know who he is. And if you definitely don't know, definitely go check out that company, Pre-PT Grind. I actually was invited for one of their podcast episodes, which I'll link in the description below. But if you're interested in trying to be the most successful in getting accepted into DPT school, if you're frustrated of not getting accepted or not knowing what to do, he has a whole coaching program. Him and his team have a whole program to set you up for success to get accepted and be a, uh, to be thriving in your DPT program. Okay, so without further ado, I introduce you, Jill, Christine, and Casey. Hi everyone, my name is Jill. I'm a first year student physical therapist, as well as a second year master's student at Temple University, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I'm gonna share a few reasons why I chose Temple for my further education. Um, one of the first things that I noticed about the program was its welcoming faculty. Now, everybody in the DPT faculty at Temple are extremely encouraging, very hands-on, and very, very approachable, which is something that I look for in my mentors 
they really make sure that you understand all the concepts that you don't doubt yourself and they set you up for success they make you feel like you deserve to be here and you're going to be great pts which i think is a very important thing when it comes to being an educator you not only want to teach the material but you want to make sure that the students really understand it and that you're approachable enough that they can come ask you questions if they have any doubts. Coming from uh, an undergrad university where professors were highly involved in their research um, and could give less time to the students, I really looked for a grad school that, that where that wasn't the case, that they were more hands-on and approachable. So I think the Temple faculty um, is amazing in that sense and they're all extreme experts in their fields and teach a material that is very, very evidence-based. So that was one thing. Another thing that I love about the program is that we have a pro bono clinic. So the North Broad Physical Therapy Clinic is a nonprofit student and faculty run PT clinic located in North Philly. And our goal is to serve um, the underserved communities and while we do that not only are we giving back to the community but we're also practicing skills that we learn in the classroom so it's one thing to learn from PowerPoints to practice on your peers fellow classmates family a whole nother ball game when it's a real patient so at the clinic we have a clinic mentor on site at all times, which is a licensed physical therapist. So they're there as guides in all the sessions that you run. Um, and it's a great way, like I said, to practice your skills. They also have a executive board, uh, which is student run, obviously. And they have positions such as clinic coordinator, marketing and communications officer, which is me, um, for my for my class, uh, funds officer, et cetera, et cetera. And it's a great way to, you know, build on teamwork, uh, as well as learn how a clinic runs. That's not something that all PT programs will necessarily teach you. Um, you may see glimpses of it here and there, but being a part of a pro being a part of the pro bono clinic gives you a chance to see how that clinic is run. Uh, also, practice documentation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. That was also a big contributing factor for why I picked Temple, because that's not an opportunity that every school has to offer. The third thing that was, I would say, the biggest reason why I chose Temple was their Neuromotor Science Master's program. So that's not a part of the DPT program, but, is, but it is part of the College of Public Health. So when I was applying to PT schools, I knew that I wanted to continue my education with neuroscience as well, which is what my background is in. So neuromotor science master's program seemed the perfect fit for me as it combines human movement as well as neuroscience. So I started the NMS program fall of 2018, which was the same year that I applied to Temple's DPT program. So once I started that, that, that was also a way that I got to know the faculty more. Um, and that kind of just reassured me like, yes, this is really the program that I want to be a part of. Um, so they, I worked closely with them to work out um, a curriculum that could work best with the DPT program as well as the master's program. I am very interested in research and in the future, I hope to be part of academia in some sense. So having that master's under my belt um, really allowed me to pursue my passion for neuroscience as well as my dream of becoming a clinician. So the faculty, the pro bono clinic, and the NMS program are the big three reasons why I chose Temple. And of course, there are many other reasons such as location of the university, my fellow peers, all the student organizations that they have, um, such as the DPT Students Association. They do many events um, to get the program, the, the students involved and together. And it's a very, it's like a big family. 
So that, those are the few reasons why I chose Temple. Um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to help and good luck with your application process and your doctor degree. What's up guys, my name is Christine Sweezy and I'm here to talk to you about the University of New England's physical therapy program. So one thing that really attracted me to the school was their advanced ortho elective that you could take your third year. And what this was, is it focused on um, a lot of manual therapy skills, which we got a lot of in our musculoskeletal lab our first year. Um, and then the advanced principles just kind of build upon those hands-on techniques, um, maybe like a cervical manipulation that is kind of intimidating to learn as a first year student, um, but really cool. Um, so I really like that. If that's not your jam, they also have another pediatrics elective third year, um, which a lot of my classmates took and they said they liked that. And um, before I went to PT school, I was split whether I wanted to go into sports or uh, peds. And so I liked having both of those options. And by the time that I got there, um, I had decided that I wanted to do sports. So it didn't take the peds elective, but I heard that was good. Um, another awesome point about UNE was the research that I got to do and who I got to do it under. Um, and my research group was the only group that started their research from scratch. So we made up a question, what did we want to research? We wanted to look at the trunk angles and muscle activation between a barbell back squat and a weighted belt squat. So we collected all the data on that. It's actually um, under review to get published currently. So we're waiting on that. Um, but our advisor, I guess that we did it under, he's a big lifter, has a great biomechanical background. So he was the perfect person to do this study under. So that's what I really liked. Um, or you could do a case study if you wanted to. I actually had no intention of doing research when I came in. I was like, oh, perfect. I want to do the case study. And then once I realized that I could research something that I was actually interested in, um, like the gym, <laughs> then I was like, okay, I'm all in. Let's do this. Um, another cool thing that our program has is a Ghana trip. So you go to Ghana for a week or two with um, other healthcare professionals um, on our grad campus. So there's the undergrad and a grad campus. So on the grad campus, there's only like PAs, OTs, I think dental, um, uh, nursing, uh, basically groups like that. And it's pretty small. So if you're looking to make friends with other professions, like it's a nice way to do that too. Um, and we have some really amazing, amazing teachers that just make the whole learning process so much more fun and easy to understand. So we did have some teachers here and there that weren't great. I hate to say it, but the amazing teachers like really carried a lot of weight. Um, and as far as our class size goes, we are a class of about 62, I think, coming in. Um, I know some PT schools are classes of 40 or smaller, around 60, but I knew that I liked those odds. <laughs> and it actually ended up being the only PT school I got into. So um, once you break it down into like two labs or three labs, the student to teacher ratio really isn't that bad. Um, as far as clinical placements, those uh, I think could have been a little bit better. I think we could have had a little bit more options but if your GPA I think is a three eight or higher you're allowed to make your own clinical placements at a place that you think that you want to be at so that's nice I luckily got all three of my number one choices um, but it really is a lottery everyone puts in their top five and then the computer randomly generates where you're going for the next 12 weeks and so we have three um, clinicals I know that some schools also have like a six week clinical, an eight week, a 10 week, 12 week, whatever. We have three 12 week rotations and I think I would have liked to have one more rotation in there just to be and experience another setting. Um, and I think one last thing, 
a couple things. We didn't have a boards prep class, and as as far as I know, everyone passed their boards. Um, in our class, I haven't heard anyone that didn't pass, but uh, I would, that's something I would probably look for is, is there a class or something that helps kind of break down what the boards are, what you need to study. We had a two-day course, but I think I would have liked a little bit more prep. Um, and as far as someone that's very sports specific heavy, I would have liked um, maybe like a sports elective, talking to other students that have this as an option. Um, I really would have liked one at my school. And last thing, if you do not like the cold, do not go to Maine for school. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, wasn't bad. Tuition was a little expensive. Just go to the cheapest school. You're all going to learn the same thing anyways. <laughs> I hope this helps. How's it going, everybody? My name is Casey Coleman, physical therapist from Andrews University and one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind. So before I get into anything further about Andrews University, I just want to thank future, future Dr. Justin Lee, aka Mr. Lift for Change, uh, for being a guest on the Pre-PT Grind podcast. So if you want more fire from future Dr. Justin Lee, as I'm sure you do, uh, check out episode 103 of the Pre-PT Grind podcast. You'll love it. Now, Andrews University, where is that? That's the first question uh, I always get when I say I went to Andrews University. Where is it? Well, it's in the state of Michigan. And if you see a, a map or a picture of the state of Michigan, it kind of looks like a hand. And depending on how this video will reverse, it will either be this hand or that hand. But it looks like a mitten. So Andrews University is in that little southwest corner of the state. It's in that little southwest corner of the state, meaning it's about an hour and a half to two hours from the city of Chicago, depending on where in Chicago you want to go. Um, so that's where it is. That's the most common question I get about Andrews University. Now I'm just going to rattle off a few things about the institution and the DPT program and you guys can either take these as pros for you or cons. So first thing, first thing on it is the is how the program is. It's it's a traditional program. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing it's nothing new. It's not a hybrid program. It's not a flex program. It's it's school. It's a DPT program. You go to lecture, you go back, you study, you have tests, uh, you might be able to read the material beforehand, but it's a traditional schooling uh, a setup. It's a traditional setup. So if that's a pro for you, and if you like that, if you strive in that environment, then hey, Andrews University might be for you. If not, if you want something a little different, then Andrews University may not be uh, for you. But number two, number two is diversity. Number two is diversity. Um, for the whole college, for the whole university, I, I believe in 2018, Andrews University was ranked number one in ethnic diversity. So the PT program, not as diverse as the whole university. However, the PT program is on campus at Andrews University. So the people you'll see walking around, if you go to the cafeteria, if you go to different events and stuff like that, you will experience the ethnic diversity at Andrews University. So if that's what you're looking for, if you want something like that, an experience like that, hey, it might be for you. Number two, uh, the family atmosphere. It's, it's very close. Uh, you get close to your classmates like I'm sure you would at, at any university or any institution when, when you only have a class size of, of about 40. That's what Andrews University is. Uh, you get close to them. It's a family atmosphere. At least in, in my class, we laughed, we joked, we made fun of each other. We had our, our bickers, our, our arguments. We had our good times, our bad times. So if that's what you're looking for, like a tight-knit uh, family, if, if, if you want a group of people to push you through the program, of course, you're going to have to make sure you do this with your specific class. Uh, Andrews University might be uh, the institution for you. I, I'm saying personally, I don't know if I would have my DPT degree if it wasn't for how the class was set up, how our Facebook group was, how our Google Drives were, how we worked together, how we kept everyone on point. I'm so grateful for my class of helping me through that program. So if that's something you're looking for, Andrews University might be uh, the program for you. But remember, you do have to put in a little work for your class uh, to make that happen. Um, next, um, NIOMT. NIOMT, you guys can um, Google that, look it up. Um, hopefully I'm not bickering the spelling. Bash me in the comments if I am, but 
N A I O M T. I always get the A and the I mixed up, um, but it's a manual therapy certification um, that is actually um, held on or in the DPT building at Andrews University. So at certain points of the year, you'll see uh, professionals come in and out doing their certification courses with this manual therapy um, course and also taking their exam. Uh, when I was leaving during my third year, they were working on, um, I believe they're, they might still be working on some kind of setup to where you will be able to graduate slash get your certification in manual therapy in this NIOMP manual therapy course. Um, so look more into that at Andrews University. Email uh, the faculty and professors to see if that's still going on because if that's something you're interested in, if you're interested in manual therapy, this would be possibly a great setup for you to graduate with your um, physical therapy degree and NIOMS manual therapy certification. So if that's something you're looking for, hey, Andrews might be for you. Um, next is clinical rotations. Clinical rotations. Man, I was going to be one of those students who stayed at home, stayed close, saved money, didn't travel for rotations, and, you know, just lay low. But I am so glad that I took advantage of Andrews, University, um, Andrews University's clinical rotation options around the country. And even, even internationally, Andrews University does have different places that you can go to if it works out for you that year. There's more specifics that you can ask about, but the clinical rotation options that I found and I experienced at Andrews University were spectacular. So if that's something that's important for you, Andrews University may be a good choice for you as well. So another thing about clinical rotations is that um, at least at my time at Andrews University, we had something called special request. So meaning if I had a GPA over 3.5, at the time of our clinical internships, I was able to special request two clinical rotations that I was personally interested in. Now, of course, there's some legal paperwork that the school has to do and the clinic has to do and, and your clinical education instructor or department chair will you know, help you figure that out at Andrews University to make it you know, the best case scenario for you. But at least you do have that option if you stay above that GPA. So. I was so glad and fortunate enough to be able to choose two special requests uh, during my time at Andrews University, and I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. Uh, but even if you don't, there are a plethora of opportunities around the country um, that you can potentially choose from during your clinical rotations at Andrews University. So if you're from Florida, if you're from you know Washington State, New York, California, Texas, usually they would have a few options in those states or at least close to your home state where you can be potentially close to where you're from during your clinical rotations because during at least at Andrews University during our third year those were all clinical rotations and that's another point that's another point that may be a pro for you that may be a con take it how you wish but at Andrews University we did all of our uh, didactic work during our first two years then during our last year we did most of our clinical uh, rotations. So if you want to be close to home during that last year, if you want to bounce around the country like I did a little bit, you have that option during your last year. So I enjoyed my clinical rotations. Hope you do as well. And um, oh, for undergrads, if you're you know going into undergrad, if you're in high school watching this video, Andrews University does have a three plus three program. A three plus three program, meaning that you can apply to physical therapy school um, a year earlier and do three years of undergrad instead of four, then go into three years of physical therapy school and graduate in six years with your doctorate in physical therapy instead of seven or, or eight or nine, however long it's going to take you to get through undergrad. So if that looks and sounds like an option that you're, that you're like, yes, that's me. Let me get this done in six years and I'm out. How it works is that you have to maintain a above a 3.5 GPA and you if I, if I understand this right you need to be at Andrews University uh, in order to participate in this so you need to be in undergrad at Andrews University uh, maintain above a 3.5 GPA through undergrad 
and you will be automatically enrolled into the DPT class. For more uh, specifics, of course, uh, email Andrews University DPT program about that, but that is an option for you. That is an option for you. Uh, the co-founder, Joseph Ngugi of PrePT Grind, actually did that. He went through the 3 plus 3 program and got into Andrews University DPT program just like that. So that sounds like an option for you. Andrews might be for you as well. So a few other things. Um, Andrews University is a, a Christian university overall, so that might be a pro for you, might be a con. However, the good thing about it is, from my experience there, if you were Christian, cool. If you weren't, cool. There were Muslims on actually in the post-professional DPT program. They were in our um, in our facility all day, all night. There was no problems. We were getting along. We were laughing. So hey, if you think it's going to be a con for you, it might be a plus. If you think it's going to be a plus, you'll be you'll be just fine as well. So if you are religious, if you are Christian, and that appeals to you, um, that probably will be a pro. But if not, don't. I'm saying don't let it be a con because hey. You'll never know who you're going to meet and the people you'll run into and how great of a time uh, you'll have. So if you think it'll be a con, don't necessarily shut Andrews University out. Uh, and the last couple things, the last couple things is the weather and the location of Andrews University. Um, if you like the snow, if you like the cold, Andrews University might be for you. If you don't, then, you know, you are in DPT school during the summertime and it does have all four seasons and it gets warm. But it does get pretty uh, cold. The snow is, it's snow and you'll be experiencing it. So just be prepared for that. And the location, it is, it's kind of out there in the country. So if you're not used to it, you better get used to it. And if you like that, Andrews University might be for you. Uh, like I said, um, an airport is close. However, the biggest major airport is in Chicago, about an hour and a half away. And um, I think the next biggest town, uh, there's there's a beach pretty pretty close, about 20 minutes north. So in the summertime, that's great. Uh, but I think the next biggest town is north in Grand Rapids. Then also if you go south to South Bend, um, Notre Dame University is close by as well. So just be prepared. It's in a very small town, in a rural town. Uh, so be prepared for that, but you will be focused on your studies, potentially. Uh, but all in all, all in all, remember this. Whether you choose Andrews University or not, or it appeals to you or not, school is school. School is school, whether you're in undergrad or physical therapy school. So make sure wherever you go, get you that DPT degree. And if some things appeal to you and other things don't, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you will still be a what? A doctor of physical therapy, just like myself, just like Joseph, and just like Justin Lee, aka Mr. Lift for Change, will be very soon. So I hope you enjoyed it. Consider Andrews University, and I'll see you around on the internet potentially. Take care. So before I end this video, I want to give an invitation to you. If you are a current DPT student, or if you know someone who is a current DPT student, please i ask that you share this video with them so that i can introduce them in this video this series as well my goal for this series is to hit all the dpt programs in the united states to get at least one representative from each of those freaking programs to talk about their own dpt school now, as you can imagine, this is a little bit hard to do because it is all volunteer. It is all from the graciousness of their own hearts to just speak and to have the courage to talk in front of a camera like this and to talk about and boast about their program. Um, and it's been pretty difficult actually to have some volunteers to have volunteers to talk about their program. So if you're watching this and you and your school wasn't mentioned, or if you know somebody where their school isn't mentioned, please 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 help a brother out share this video with them and hopefully they'll get back to me or let me know who would be a good candidate or a good fit for this series so that i could dm them slide into their dms and then hopefully we can get work something out so then i can feature them in the next student speak series all right i hope this video helped inspire some self change into either applying for some of these universities or maybe ooh, maybe these are not for me <laughs> so awkward <laughs>
uh, but I thank you again everyone for supporting this channel it's been it's been a real big blessing to continue it to see it grow and to watch it grow as the days go on so um, you guys have been here since the very beginning Thank you so much. If you have any, any, any questions, please feel free to comment below, shoot me an email, find me on Instagram. I'll put every one of these different uh, candidates that are in this series in the description below about their contact information. I know they're more than happy to be helping you. So uh, feel free to contact them as well. Remember this channel is all about lifting others and lifting weights. And I hope that this channel and this family and this community all helps lift up others. So thank you all for creating a space that is safe and is uh, encouraging for others as well. Change people, change people. That's why we live for change people. Have a great one, you guys.